is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today is a very exciting episode and one that you guys have all been asking for. Last night, I did a poll on my Instagram to see what video you guys wanted to see, whether it be my top lures for spring musky fishing or my top combos for musky fishing. And the answers were a little tough to pick from. It was exactly 50-50. I guess that just leaves it up to me. Now, I'm more of a tackle junkie more than a rod junkie, but I think I'll make a video about both. Today though, is gonna be the lure video. So today, I'm gonna condense down my six years of musky experience, and I'm gonna show you the top four baits that I'd buy if I had $100 to spend on musky baits for the spring. Four lures for a Benjamin, 100 bucks. So if you guys are new to musky fishing, if you're already into musky fishing, I bet there's some stuff I'm gonna show you that you don't have. So stay tuned, strap in, let's get some lures from the garage and I'll be right back. All right, well, that is an absolute mess. Let me get these untangled quick and I'll, uh, I'll show you guys my top four lures for springtime musky fishing. All right, and we're back. So, so for those of you that aren't aware, muskies are the apex predator in freshwater. They're the biggest, they're the baddest, they're the meanest. They're the most sought after fish in freshwater. And personally, my favorite. What I spend most of my summers doing is uh, being a dumb and casting big musky lures all day. You know, it's a good workout, you get big biceps, as you can tell here. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> But here in Minnesota, there's a lot of ice on the lakes right now. There's no musky fishing to be done. Season's not open, but these are the lures I'm gonna be using for Minnesota opener as well as Wisconsin opener. So let's uh, let's dive right into it. So let's start from the bottom. So number four is a lure that I don't have a whole lot of experience with, but last year was one of my top producers in the spring, and that would be a swim bait. Oh, this one right here. This is a musky innovation swim bait. Now I haven't used this particular one, but I have used the smaller size in the spring. This would be considered the spring size swimming dog. So this is a lure by Musky Innovations. It's a big paddle tail swim bait. Oh, it's got a little carpet on there. A little messy here. These lures have been sitting in my garage for a while, all sad, not getting casted, just depressed. Just like me, because I can't go musky fishing. But this is the Musky Innovations swimming dog right here. This is the spring dog, the smallest size that they make. It's about a seven inch lure. And uh, essentially what these are is it's exactly like a bass swim bait. So you hook it, by this little thing up here. And the way I work these is in the spring, I'll actually work these kind of like a jerk bait. I'll just give it light pulls, and let it fall. Light pull, let it fall. And when it falls, these things shimmy in the water. So you pull it, and then it falls like that. Pull it, and it wobbles. Pretty amazing. Um, this is one of my favorite colors. I'm a big believer in natural baits. Um, a lot of the lakes that I fish are clear water, so this is kind of like a largemouth bass pattern. So I'll fish this in lakes that have a lot of largemouth bass in it. It could also be imitation of a like cisco, a perch, whitefish, whatever. But a swim bait is a great choice in the spring, and that is the number four, that is the number four lure. Now, new this year is a bait that I just picked up. It's the same type of bait, a swimming bait, but this is the shallow dogs. So this is a little bit bigger, bigger than I'd usually throw in the spring, but it's a shallow dog, so it's not as weighted. So I'm gonna be able to work this in shallow water. In the springtime, it's important to understand that shallow water fishing is key. A lot of time that I'll spend in the spring is gonna be anywhere from seven to three feet. And you need a lure that's gonna be able to do that. So shallow swimming dog or regular swimming dog, the choice is yours. Those lures retail for about roughly 20 to $30. So that's keeping it under budget right now for your first lure. All right, so category number three. This is personally my favorite category for the summer and it holds up in the spring for sure. The big part about the spring is that I always like to throw baits that are small. I like to throw smaller, smaller baits. So, so my number three spot would definitely have to go to the Elucid Bucktail. These two are in tinsel. Um, I'm a big believer again in natural colors, but a bait that's good for stained water and for clear water would be this right here. So this is considered a showgirl made by Musky Mayhem Tackle. Um, these are number six blades and this is in the black and silver. So this is a tinsel skirt. It's got the flashy, flashy skirt on it um, and it's only got one treble hook. It's a lighter bait and it's really a perfect bucktail for spring. You can work it fast, you can work it in shallow and really this is like the best size for springtime muskies. This is a uh, about as big as I'll go, really. So this one's in black. 
I also have been known to throw some whites. The choice is really up to you. Personally, if I was to get one bucktail and I'm a beginner, I would get the black and silver. If you guys don't have a white bucktail yet, and you fish a lot of lakes that have cisco and whitefish in them, this would definitely be a good choice. Now where it gets a little tricky is there's some lakes that I actually prefer this. And this is the same type of thing, but this is a true bucktail. See, it's got the buck fur. That's why it's called bucktail, duh. But this one's a little bit different. It actually has number eight Indiana blades instead of those, those have Colorado blades on them. So this is gonna have a little bit different vibration. This is actually, this is a ghost tail branded lure. Um, I love these ghost tails. They work on every lake. Again, in the black and black colorway. Um, this is gonna be, if I had to get one bait out of these three, this would be. And uh, it's definitely gonna hold a place in my tackle box this spring and actually all throughout the summer. Color choice is yours, but that's just what I believe in. I was told from a wise man one day that, you know, lure colors are made for fishermen and not for fish. So everything I throw is generally black or walleye colored. Coming in the number two spot is going to be the ever so famous bulldog. Now these are awesome baits, just springtime bulldogs. So, so I know I was talking a lot about how I fish in shallow in the spring but there is some times where the big mamas are hanging out deep in the middle of the water. And for that, I like bulldogs. So when I'm talking about middle of the water, I'm talking like open water fishing. These fish will go in and they'll spawn in shallow and the females will actually push out into deep water and feed on all the schooling ciscos, white fish, whatever's out there until the water warms up enough and they can move back in and go either on rock points or weed flats or anything. So. When they're out in the open water, you can't really beat a bulldog. And my favorite colors in bulldogs, again, it's springtime, so I'm fishing something smaller. I will move up to a mag dog sometimes, but if you guys are just starting out, I would really recommend getting a spring sized dog. So this is my version of a spring sized bulldog. It's, I believe, called the regular version. And they actually make a size called the spring dog. It's real small, it's probably about like that. This is the smallest I'll go on a bulldog. This is the regular dog. And these lures in the spring are stupid good. If I had to choose one, be this one right here the walleye color works on every lake and it just crushes my personal best muskie was actually caught on this lure when i was 14. this held my big fish for a long time got a lot to say about these lures so again muskie innovations bulldog this lure comes in at about 20 bucks 20 bucks and uh the bad thing about soft plastic lures like bulldogs like the swimming dogs is that they get torn up every time you catch a fish now you guys are like oh well i'm gonna spend 20 bucks on a lure and i'm not gonna be able to use it again after i catch a fish no, that's not true. You can actually use a material called Mend It, and that'll actually make the rubber weld back to itself. Or if you're like me, you can just use a lighter with the supervision of your parents, of course, don't burn yourselves. Um, with a lighter, you can take the cracks, you can open them up, light it up, and push it back together, dunk it in some cold water, and it'll be just brand new. It basically welds the rubber back together in order to fish again. Now my number one, number one, bait in the spring, this lure stays on my line from the middle of May to the beginning of June, and it catches fish every single time I'm out. Just kidding. <laughs> if I could catch a muskie every single time I was out, that'd be amazing, but it catches fish a lot. I love this lure in shallow. It's hands down the best lure, and that would be the glide bait, specifically the phantom. So this is the smallest size that phantom makes, I believe. Well, one of the smallest. This is a... Uh, six inch again notice <laughs> notice the natural colors here these baits are amazing for those of you that aren't familiar with what glide baits are it's a it's a walk the dog bait so you work it with your rod tip pointed down work it like this and the lure just does glides in the water like that so this lure you can work really as slow or as fast as you want it works within the first three feet of the water column so it kind of suspends kind of not it also has a little area here you can add weight if you're trying to get deeper but I never really add weight to these things because I'm fishing them so shallow. These are really great for getting up close to wood, rock, um, sand flats, and working that bait slow and it triggers a lot of strikes, much like a jerk bait would for bass. Big believer in these, this is a Phantom 6 inch soft tail. Um, Phantom makes great lures, they're made out of wood, custom painted, amazing, they got great hooks that come with them, um, and with these, you want to make sure that you're working them with a wire leader. Make sure that you're using a wire leader and if it's got a swivel on the front of it, a ball bearing swivel, you wanna cut that thing off and you wanna tie it straight to the wire. 
straight to that little loop in the wire. When you go and cast it out, it's gonna land in the water and that ball bearing is gonna sink faster than the bait will, all right? So if you're following me, if your line's down here and you pull it, it's gonna pull a lure down or it's gonna make your lure hang up on itself. So you wanna have that wire leader to keep it straight so you don't hang up on your line, but you wanna have um, that ball bearing off there so it's not weighing it down as much so you have more, more action, if you will. So this one's in a crappie color. Again, like I said, crappie, walleye, Walleye is my favorite color. This is my go-to. If I had to pick one, it would be this one. But you can't go wrong with either of these. And then just another option for you guys, if you don't want to go with a Phantom soft tail, is a Hellhound. This is a, a plastic bait. Also, Glide Bait does the same thing. Um, this is a little easier to learn on. It's got these fins on it, so it glides out further. But um, big believer in the Phantoms. I like the soft tail action. I like the size of them more. I don't have a great hookup rate on those on those Hellhounds there. So Phantom soft tails retail for around. 30 bucks, a little less than, probably 28. And Hellhounds retail for around $30. So, you know, we're sitting at a ground total of, I don't know, but it's under 100 bucks. I'll put it right here, whatever the grand total is. Glide baits definitely should have one of these in your box for the spring. Can't emphasize that enough. Put it in your box, just buy it. Just get one, go online right now, buy one, go to the store, buy one, they're amazing. If you guys get all four of those baits in your box this spring, you are in a good position. You are going to be in a good position. Again, if you're throwing glide baits, make sure you're using a wire leader. I can't say that enough. Also, forgot to mention, bucktails, wire leader as well, but keep that ball bearing on there. Wire leaders on bucktails are overlooked too. A lot of guys throw those fluorocarbon ones. And truth of the matter is, that vibration that you get from a wire leader with those blades just pumping, you can't beat it. If, if you put on a fluorocarbon leader, you're losing all that vibration. So if you're using a bucktail, use a wire leader. Do it. You will catch more fish, you'll have more follows, you'll see more. Just freaking put one on and give her a rip. For the soft plastic baits that I was using, I would definitely recommend using a fluorocarbon leader. Bulldogs, swimming dogs, whatever soft plastic I'm using, I will be using a fluorocarbon leader, but everything else is on wire. So thank you guys so much for tuning this episode of MAV. If you guys like episodes like this, please let me know in the comment section below. If you guys would be so kind to like this video if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know the drill. But thank you guys again for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Maverick and Tight Lines.